Available now. Link below. And now we peel back the layers of a story that's shaking the foundations of justice and integrity in America. At the heart of this controversy is Georgia prosecutor Fannie Willis, accused of corruption and unethical behavior in her pursuit against a man many say is innocent, President Donald Trump. Marjorie Taylor Greene, a name synonymous with fearless advocacy for truth, has stepped into the fray once again, filling a, filing a second ethics complaint against Willis. This isn't just about politics. It's about the very fabric of our legal system and the principles of transparency and accountability. Why is this case critical for every American watching? The implications stretch far beyond the courtroom, challenging our nation's commitment to fairness and justice. So you don't want to miss our final thought on this and stay with us for a report that promises to be as revealing as it is urgent. Now, folks, before we dive deeper into our special report, a critical message in a world where chaos seems to reign supreme, the truth becomes our most powerful weapon. Much like the story we're unraveling tonight, the real battle against the hidden forces of corruption and deceit, well, that's why it's essential to be prepared for anything. At preparewithgary.com, you can equip yourself with a four-week emergency food kit from My Patriot Supply. Now $60 off, these kits are designed to last up to 25 years, provide over 2,000 calories a day, ensuring that you are ready for any emergency. Don't wait for chaos to knock on your door. Prepare today at preparewithgary.com and receive free same-day shipping if you order by 3 p.m. Equip yourself for the truth and the times ahead. In the tempestuous arena of American politics, a storm has been brewing, one that threatens to erode the bedrock of justice and transparency upon which our republic stands. At the center of the storm is Fannie Willis, a Georgia prosecutor whose actions have sparked controversy, outrage, and a clarion call for accountability. Marjorie Taylor Greene, a staunch defender of former President Donald Trump and a beacon of the American First Movement, has once again taken a stand against what she perceives as blatant corruption and unethical conduct. Greene's filing of a second ethics complaint against Willis is not just an act of political defiance, it's a testament to her commitment to upholding the rule of law and ensuring that justice is served, devoid of political bias or personal vendettas. Now, the crux of Green's complaint lies in Willis' alleged failure to adhere to state transparency and ethics rules, particularly regarding the filing of personal financial disclosure statements. This oversight, or perhaps intentional omission, raises profound questions about the potential for undue influence and corruption. The fact that these omissions occurred after Willis initiated the high-profile investigation in Trump only adds fuel to the fire of skepticism and mistrust. And adding to the drama, allegations of a suspicious relationship between Willis and Special Prosecutor Nathan Wade have emerged, casting a long shadow over the integrity of the entire prosecution. These accusations suggest not just a breach of ethical standards, but a tangled web of personal and professional entanglements that could potentially taint the entire legal process. Watch. Well, look who's here joining us now, Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene from House mm -hmm. Oversight. Congresswoman, a pleasure to have you on. Thank you so much for joining us. Okay, we've been wanting to talk to you about your ethics complaint against Fulton County DA Fonnie Willis. She's overseeing the Georgia 2020 case against Trump. Can you tell us about your complaint? Yes, I just filed this complaint against Fonnie Willis because according to the Georgia Finance uh, Disclosure Act, Fonnie Willis, as a district attorney for Fulton County, is required to file financial disclosures. All office holders, we all have to do this. However, she did not file financial disclosures in 2019, 2021, and 2022. Now we all know about her secret boyfriend. It is now public. She was having a personal relationship with Nathan Wade. Nathan Wade is the prosecutor that she hired and is paying the most money out of her entire team. And he has the least amount of experience. He's never tried a RICO case before. She's paying him $250 an hour, which is nearly $700,000 she's paid Nathan Wade. But yet they're having a personal relationship. Here's the problem. Nathan Wade did not file as a lobbyist when he courted Fonnie Willis as his girlfriend to hire him uh, for this job. Now they've taken, uh, you know, uh, luxurious vacations, Caribbean cruises, Napa Valley trips, and we don't know how many restaurants they've eaten at. How much has Nathan Wade basically paid off Fannie Willis for the job that he is being hired to do? And he's being paid by the taxpayers here in Georgia. 
Connie Willis has completely betrayed the trust of the people here in Georgia. She needs to be taken off this case. This whole case needs to be dismissed. But the big thing that needs to happen is there needs to be a serious investigation on the ethics committee here in Georgia into Fannie Willis and Nathan Wade. Both of them have serious problems. Let's go. Oh, yes, they do. So the saga took a more dramatic turn with the revelation of Willis' financial dealings and relationships, particularly her connection to Wade. Critics argue that this relationship, coupled with the financial discrepancies and omissions, paints a picture of a prosecutor more concerned with personal gain and political maneuvering than with the pursuit of justice. The essence of Green's complaint is a demand for transparency, integrity, and accountability. It's a call for Willis to answer for her actions and for the legal system to cleanse itself of any semblance of corruption or bias. This isn't merely a political skirmish, it's a battle for the soul of the American legal system, a system that is predicated on the principles of fairness, transparency, and the accountability to the people. The implications of the case extend far beyond the individuals involved. It strikes at the heart of public trust in our legal institutions. If a prosecutor can flout the rules with impunity, what does that say about the state of justice in America? It sends a chilling message that power can be wielded without accountability and that political adversaries can be targeted through the legal system. Green's actions, while controversial to some, underscore a vital aspect of our republic, the importance of oversight and the necessity of holding public officials to account. Her willingness to challenge Willis is emblematic of a broader struggle against a culture of corruption that threatens to undermine the foundations of our republic. The district attorney's refusal to comment on Green's complaint only adds to the aura of secrecy and evasion that has enveloped this case. It raises critical questions about the transparency and openness of our legal system and whether those in positions of power can truly be held accountable for their actions. And Green's own challenges with campaign finance underscore the pervasive nature of these issues within our political system. However, her fight against Willis is not diminished by her own controversies. Rather, it highlights the need for comprehensive reform and greater accountability across the board. The accusations of financial impropriety and unethical conduct surrounding Willis and Wade are absolutely alarming. The alleged hiring of Wade at a significantly higher hourly rate, despite the presence of other qualified prosecutors, suggests a preferential treatment that could undermine the integrity of the entire prosecution. And that's good for Trump. So this, coupled with the extravagant billing and expense reports, paints a picture of a prosecution marred by financial irregularities and ethical quandaries. The call for Willis' resignation is not just a political maneuver by Green, it's a demand for justice, for the restoration of integrity within our legal system. It's a call to action for, an Amer for all Americans who value transparency, fairness, and accountability with their leaders. As we delve deeper into the controversy, it becomes increasingly clear that this is not merely a dispute between political adversaries. It is a reflection of a broader crisis of confidence in our institutions, a crisis that demands immediate and decisive action. The pursuit of justice, free from political bias and corruption, is a fundamental principle of our republic. When that principle is threatened, it is incumbent upon all of us to stand up and demand accountability. And Green's fight against Willis is not just her fight, it is our fight. It is a fight for the principles that define us as a nation, for the values that we hold dear. Now, before we proceed to my final thought, an important message, because we're approaching the pivotal 2024 election, and it's crucial to understand the forces shaping our nation. My new book, The Silent Coup, peels back the layers of political deception and media manipulation. In these transformative times, arm yourself with the truth and navigate these challenges with clarity. And if you are one of the lucky ones to get a copy, you may just find a special offer on the back side. So get your copy today, stay informed, stay empowered, and let's reclaim our future together. You will find the link in the description of this video. And now, my final thought. In this report, we've not, in this report, we've explored not just the allegations against Fannie Willis, but the broader implications of such conduct on our justice system and republic. Marjorie Taylor Greene's actions, while divisive to some, they shine a spotlight on the critical need for transparency and accountability in our public officials. This isn't merely about political rivalry. It's about preserving the integrity of our legal system, ensuring it remains a bastion of fairness and justice untainted by personal bias or corruption. As Americans, it's our duty to demand higher standards from those entrusted with the power to prosecute, to ensure our republic remains strong and just. The fight against corruption is a fight for the soul of America. It's a reminder that vigilance is the price of freedom and accountability, the foundation of trust. So thank you for watching. If you got value from this report, 
tap subscribe, and remember to tell a friend. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Now keep up your quest for truth with this next news report. And if you found our channel enlightening, join the millions who agree with you. Tap subscribe. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.